Cloud for Magnolia Inspiration Group, reporting from Ogilvy University. Today, our focus is on the benefits and realities of online learning and the impact it's had on a family of educators. Today, we are meeting with Mr. Malcolm Cobb, a fourth grade elementary teacher. Mr. Cobb, what are some benefits and realities that you've discovered when using virtual platforms for education? Well, we have a lot of wonderful things that have come from us using the virtual platforms. One of the things that we have is that one of our students are able to do their assignments online. Also, one of the things that I really enjoy is the fact that we love to see our parents. We love our parents coming to the campus. We love interacting with our parents. We love the fact that they come and they want to know what's going on with their children. But sometimes that's just not available. So we have the platform that we are able to use to actually meet with parents, talk with them about the progress yeah, with their children, and next steps to um, move their children forward. I got a chance to meet with high okay, school student you. Kensington Cobb. Uh, do you think some classes are better online than in person? I think that certain classes that can be done online and like they have work, but it would be just better for them to be online, like typing a lot or having to record things. I think those would be better online instead of in person because it would just take not as much time and you would be able to do it more efficiently and learn more in less time. We are now meeting with Dr. Yolanda Cobb, a college university professor. Dr. Cobb, do you prefer online or face-to-face -face classes? I prefer face-to-face -face classes ultimately because I like doing interactive activities. I believe it solidifies the student's learning um, when we're learning any concept because I enjoy doing things that are going to be visually appealing, but also things that they can actually physically touch. In the online environment, that's a little more difficult to do, but I have had to figure out ways to do that because I want my students to be completely engaged. And so I try to find alternative ways to do that by engaging them with um, games, online surveys, um, and other things that will solidify their learning that will at least put them in the mind frame that, it, that they are um, doing physical uh, interactive learning in the online. Platform.